then I'm very proud of uh, Claude Monet, who's, uh, as I said before, one of the most popular uh, painters, as we can see here. Then we have some Dutch paintings, of course, old masters. They're one-of-a-kind works of art. Some are priceless, others are out of the reach of anyone but the world's richest art dealers. Or are they? All the paintings in this traveling exhibit are masterfully painted fakes. We show mostly Impressionist paintings. And why are we doing this? Because the resource of original paintings is disappearing. Why? Original paintings, they are knocked down on auctions for incredible sums in order to be stored in bank walls between buns and gold and have gone forever. That is the main reason we are doing this. Some of the works in the International Imaginary Museum's exhibits have been passed off by less reputable art dealers as the real article. The fact that these paintings are this good inspired the idea to show them. And I thought to myself, why don't we turn around uh, the edge of the knife and just go and buy such fakes and um, display it and sell it as exactly as what it is. We are the most honest fakers in the world. Okay, so you can't get a hold of an original Van Gogh, but for three to six thousand German marks you can have the next best thing. This is a group uh, of uh, approximately 45 different painters, and mostly of them are professional museum restorers. They are uh, working on original paintings, restoring original paintings, so they, knew, they know exactly what they're doing. So, that explains the high quality. The International Imaginary Museum has a permanent site on Broadway in New York City, and this traveling exhibit of master forgeries based in Zurich is making its way around Europe. From Heidelberg, I'm Air Force Sergeant Dan Robinson.